short time ago, Barra Magna was at peace for the first time in a long while. They should have known it couldn't last. As Gresh comes to a painful stop in the sand, he thinks back to how things went so bad so fast. It began when Matanui returned from a journey to the Black Spike Mountains, battered and weary, and carrying a small metal box. He said the box contained the energy needed to power the giant robot unknowingly created by the Agori, a robot now serving as their main source of shelter. Matanui insisted he needed the robot to save Barra Magna from a terrible fate. After much argument, Ranu agreed. After saying his goodbyes to his friends, Martinui removed his mask, allowing the body it created for him to crumble. His mind and spirit traveled into the robot body. And for the first time in over 150,000 years, this robot walked Barra Magna under the control of Martinui. Gresh, along with the other Glatorian and Agori, watched in disbelief. Martinui lifted his hands to the sky, sending waves of power out into space. They couldn't know Matanui was reaching out to the two moons of Barra Magna, throwing them back to where they once had been, so that once more the shattered planet could be whole. Nor could they know that something else had been drawn to Barra Magna in search of Matanui, his ancient enemy, Makuta, in a bigger, stronger robot body. But they couldn't miss what happened next, as two armored giants faced each other over the sands of Barra Magna. Silence, brother. No threats, no vows of revenge. You disappoint me. I don't need to do any of those things, Makuta. I don't need to prove my power in useless combat with you either. We don't need to fight. No, of course we don't. You can just lie down and die right now. I know the truth now. The great beings intended for us to work together to save this planet. Barra Magna was once part of a larger world, Spherus Magna, that shattered into three pieces. We are meant to heal it. I have a better idea. Join me. Together, we have the power to decimate universes. We could rule all of reality. I have a destiny to fulfill. A reason for existing. You have nothing, Makuda. You are nothing. Indeed. Let me show you what I think of your destiny. Down below. That metal monster is going to kill Matanui. We have to help him. Not sure what we can do against something that size. Maybe set up some kind of distraction by Matanui at moment. Think bigger. If I'm right, we can bring down Makuda. I've got a plan. Which is a plan. I'm not sure whether to be intrigued or scared. All things considered, I'd go with scared. The Glatorian and Agori charge the invader, trying to attract Makuta's attention. Meanwhile, Gresh darts away to carry out his part of the plan. Neither the Glatorian nor the Agori are aware of hate-filled eyes watching them from above. The Glatorian are attacking the giants. They are doomed. No, revenge belongs to the Skrull. They must fall before us, and no one else! Then we attack. Now! Concentrate your fire! Target one spot on the Makuto robot, and punch a hole in it! No good. Whatever that thing's made out of, we can't put a dent in it. Since you won't listen to reason, I'll speak to you in the language you understand! Inside the Matanui robot. That should slow Makuta, and not a moment too soon. This robot does not have the power of his. It's already breaking down. If I don't finish him and find a way to complete my mission soon, this body will crumble, and Barra Magna will be helpless before Makuda. Who knew you had such a temper? But you seem to have forgotten an entire universe of beings devoted to you. Temple heroes, torn villagers, and more. Live inside of me. Damage me, and you may kill them. I see your little friends below who are trying to 
attract my attention. Perhaps this will show them that they have succeeded. Wow. If that was a miss, I don't want to know what a hit would do. But it blew me closer to what I was looking for. A way to get inside the Makuta robot. And that looks to me like a hatch. Now I just have to figure out how to open this. Once inside, I'll smash everything I see and hope it brings this Colossus down. What the... Not sure what might be coming out of there, but I doubt it's here on a friendly visit. Here we go. No wonder my plans scare Kina. And then, a new nightmare comes to Barra Magna. The Sons of Makuta, the vicious, lethal Rakshi. What are those things? They're headed for the other Glatorian. I need to. Wait, someone, someone else, else is coming. coming. This time I, I attack, attack first and worry about identities later. Back where you came from, invaders! What's in Matanui's name? Ugh. No one treats the Toa of Light that way. You just bought yourself a pounding, stranger. You see, Matanui? Your pathetic forces will be no match for my Rakshi and my other allies. You will see your friends die before you join them in defeat. I have outwitted you, outfought you. Today, my march to Congress begins. By right of power, my claimless world, Baramagna, is mine.